Chapter 30 of Fuzzy Mud. Wednesday, November 3rd at 3.55 p.m. Marshall took off his sweater and used it to wipe the mud away from Tamaya's eyes. He and Chad had managed to pull Tamaya up the side of the hill to where the ground was less steep. Chad now sat, head down, breathing hard and unevenly. Tamaya could feel the pressure of Marshall's finger behind the soft sweater fabric as he gently rubbed each eyelid. Okay, he whispered to her. She was afraid to open her eyes. I'll get you home, no matter what, Marshall promised. She listened a moment to Chad's raspy breathing, then allowed her eyes to open. Marshall appeared blurry at first, but that might have been from keeping her eyes so tightly shut for so long. She blinked. His face was pale and worried. I can see you, she told him. He gave her a small smile. She took the sweater from him and used it to wipe the rest of the mud off her face, and then her neck and arms. She knew it wouldn't stop whatever was in the mud, but she took comfort in knowing that she'd be home soon. She could take a bath, wash her hair, and go see Dr. Sanchez. Here, use this too, Marshall said. He pulled his school shirt up over his head, turning it inside out in the process. No, you'll get cold. I'm all right. She took his shirt and used it to clean the inside of her mouth. She rubbed it over her teeth and her gums. She wrapped her tongue with it, then twisted it back and forth. She cleaned her ears and then her nose, using her pinky to stick the cloth up each nostril. Here, thanks, she said, but Marshall just put up his hands. She let the shirt drop. Chad groaned as Marshall helped him to his feet. You okay? She asked. Couldn't be better, he rasped. She hoped he'd have the strength to make it back. It was already getting dark. Marshall held Chad's arm as he led him up the hill. Tamaya was on the other side of Marshall. You're a good guy, Marshall, Chad said. Sorry about... His voice trailed off, and Tamaya was afraid he might pass out, but then he seemed to gather his strength again. You want to know why I hated you? I already know why, Marshall told him. You thought I called you a liar. You called me a liar? When? Tamaya's bare foot stepped on a sharp twig, but she suppressed the pain. The important thing was to keep going. Marshall reminded Chad about the time he had bragged about riding his motorcycle into the principal's office. And I said, no way, but I just meant it like, wow, that's so cool. Not that I thought you were a liar. Oh yeah, I knew that, Chad said. I was just giving you a hard time. Besides, I was lying. I've never even been on a motorcycle. Marshall gave a short laugh as he shook his head. Tamaya knew this was between Marshall and Chad, and she kept out of it, but she couldn't help herself. Then why did you hate him? She blurted. He never did anything to you. Chad took a deep breath, then said something that sounded to Maya, to Tamaya like lasagna. What? asked Marshall. Your birthday is September 29th, Chad said. How'd you know? And your mom made your favorite dinner. Lasagna, said Tamaya. So he really had said that. I heard you talking about it at school. So? asked Marshall. So you know when my birthday is? Chad asked. He didn't. September 29th, said Chad. Tamaya was having a hard time trying to pull all this together. And that's why you hated Marshall, she asked, because you have the same birthday? No one cooked me lasagna, Chad said. No one did anything. You want to know what my dad said? Why should we celebrate the day you were born? That sucks, said Marshall. That's still no reason to hate Marshall, Tamaya insisted. I'm not saying it is, said Chad. I'm just trying to explain, that's all. I figure I owe you that. Tamaya was trying to make sense out of Chad's logic when her foot kicked something hard. This time, she couldn't suppress the pain. She cried out as she fell onto the leaf-covered ground. Marshall and Chad stood over her. Are you all right? Her foot throbbed. She hoped she hadn't broken anything. Man, oh man, she said as she winced in pain. She took a couple of breaths, and the pain subsided a little bit. It's just so dark. I can't see where I'm stepping. What are you talking about? Asked Marshall. The sun's out. There's plenty of light. Tamaya closed her eyes. When she opened them a second later, the world had gone completely dark. Two times 268,435,456 equals 536,870,912. Two times 536,870,912 equals 1,073,741,824.